Okay, I'm reminiscing again. This picture. Let's see if I can get a good clear shot of it. There we go. My sister-in-law took that picture. Up there in New York. That's the day I left to go to Yuma on that scooter. And this is about a week later. That's my campsite. That campsite was in Pittsburgh. I uh, see the sign that said Pittsburgh. Always wanted to go down and see the sights of Pittsburgh. That's what I did. When I left New York on that scooter, I just took my time. I stopped by and said goodbye to mom, told her what I was doing, and just left. About five hours into my trip, I went through a rainstorm. Everything was saturated. And instead of camping out, I got a hotel room. Cost about 40 bucks had a heater in it so I spent the majority of the day putting my clothes on this heater drying them next morning I packed and started the trip that was the last time the first and only time that I stayed at a hotel or a motel whatever you want to call it because the rest of the trip was uneventful but in Pittsburgh, I went down, I seen the sights. I didn't have uh, CPS on my phone. I think they got a sign that's wrong that says Highway 40. Because I got lost. And it started getting dark and I started getting tired. But I had seen this barbecue place. And right next to the barbecue place was a grassy area with a light pole. Then there was some other kind of store next to it. But this grassy area looked inviting. So that's where I made camp and that's where the picture is. Got a real beautiful night's sleep. Blew up my air mattress. Got a good night's sleep. Woke up in the morning, sat in the tent, did my devotions. You know, just enjoying myself for about 45 minutes inside the tent. Just relaxing and looking at a map and trying to figure out where I was, which I had no idea. Well, I decided to pack up. <coughs> so I packed up took the car, took the bike out of the mud hole that it was standing in, got it up on some concrete, laid on the air mattress and started to deflate the air mattress. That's when a Pittsburgh policeman drove up. Gets out of his patrol car and comes walking up to me and asks me how I slept. I said, great, fantastic, got about nine hours. And we started talking. He asked me what I was doing. I told him, I'm going to try to make it to Yuma on that scooter. Well, he started laughing. Wished me luck, but started laughing. And uh, he wanted to know where I came from, and I told him. And I showed him the picture that Lil took. And, we just spent about 20, 25 minutes just talking. He never once asked me for identification. Just talked. I told him I was retarded. And enjoying retardation. 
And he finally got around to what he was going to tell me. He asked me if I knew where I was. And I said, yeah, I'm lost. <laughs> Downtown Pittsburgh. He goes, no, do you actually know where you where, where you put your tent? On the ground? I <laughs> mean, dumb question. Now, apparently, I camped in the worst area that Pittsburgh has got. According to the cop, there's a shooting just about every night. There's a stabbing two or three times a night. But uh, the patrolman that relieved him, or that he relieved, <coughs> uh, told me about you. And that you were camped right underneath the light. You weren't trying to hide. You weren't trying to, you know, you were right there in the open. Stupid move for around this area. So the patrolman before me and me, we kind of hung around here and watched you to keep you safe. Well, I thanked them. And uh, gave him a cup of dollars to buy a cup of coffee. <laughs> Which he refused. <laughs> he said, no, that's okay. <laughs> and uh, then I asked him to unlose me. Now he gave me directions. As for a place to eat, he goes, you'll have no problem finding it. It's right on the way. I was about three blocks away from the entrance to 40. Yeah. <laughs> I must have driven around there and drove right past it. But, whatever. But I had a good breakfast and continued on my way. Spent the next night basically the same thing, but this time it was inside of a park. It was a rest area, back into the woods. So, anyway, I just thought I'd throw that out. There are some good cops, and there are some bad areas. The thing is, bad areas can be cleaned up. This movement, Black Lives Matter, makes no sense to me. White Lives Matter makes no sense to me. And unlike Hillary Clinton, life starts when that one in a million sperm gets into the egg. That's when that egg, as far as I'm concerned, has constitutional rights. Because it is a human being. As soon as those two elements get together, that's a human being. I don't care what Hillary says. Of course, whatever she says is a lie anyhow, so it don't matter. I think her and my mother-in-law, ex-mother-in-law, went to the same school and graduated bitch of the year. Anyway, uh, I just thought I'd throw that out for JP. And uh, cops around here are all right. They don't really do their job, not when it deals with the homeless. But then again, I know drugs are quite ever in this apartment complex. 
But the thing is, they don't care. They can't stop it. I can't put a finger on how to stop it. I had one guy come up to the door a couple weeks ago wanting to know if I'd sell him some. <coughs> I came so close to picking up my bar and hitting him with it. Yeah. That'd be a loose screw somewhere. Anyway. That's about that's about it now. My devotions has kind of increased. I've got uh, two dailies, one from David and one from Charles, that I do before I hit my two books. One book is yearly devotions from David Jeremiah, and the other one's the Bible. I'm, uh, reading about Gideon now in Exodus chapter 8. You know, people back then must have had faith in the unknown, more faith than what we have today. You know, I've said before, I wish I could be more like my mom, at least one-tenth of what she was. I don't, I don't think that's possible. But going back to Gideon and what he did with the fleece and what God showed him, you know, isn't that testing God? You know, I don't know. It's written in the Bible. I know from my own experience and I've said it in previous videos I'm, I believe I've been tuned with God especially when I'm at the altar so anyway I'm looking at about 13 minutes so have a beautiful Monday and happy first. God bless.